everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this month's wax empties to share with you guys. Now I have like nine different companies that I would like to showcase and I know the box is kind of like in the way but like you're just gonna have to bear with me here. And I know that last month as in July's haul, I kind of had like a sep second, a second, oh my goodness, a second camera set up to show you guys each uh, different empty like up close, but it was just a lot of editing and I'm lazy. So I don't really want to, <laughs> you know, do any more editing than what I realistically have to do. So to keep it nice and simple, we're just going to be hopefully showing the webcam today and fingers and toes crossed that the camera focuses. If not, I'll just, I don't know, chuck some footage over the top and, uh, We'll go from there. So today's video is indeed the August haul of wax melt empties. This is not every single wax melt that I use this month. It's just the ones that I actually, well, as the name suggests, completely emptied. So first and foremost, I'm going to start off with Simple Sense Online. So I used this one, which is called Blueberry Pie. As you can see, it was just a little sample that I was sent. Uh, for my blue wax melt week, and this one smelled absolutely in freaking incredible. Mm, my goodness, it smells like blueberry jam. Just oh, so good. Highly recommend Simple Sense Online as an Australian wax vendor. She does amazing stuff. She has really good scents as well. Next up, I actually finished off this fluffy chicken donut wax melt from OD Sugar. I think that's in focus. I can't really tell. But that is that one. So it was just like a yellow donut covered in like what looked like desiccated coconut and just smells like a really weird soapy candy, if that makes sense. This is actually a favorite of the OD Sugar Herd, but unfortunately it's just not for me. I really wanted to like it, but it just was not for me. But I did include it in my yellow wax melt week and we had it on downstairs and my husband really enjoyed it. So win win. <laughs> Next up is Maple and Waddle. So only one empty from Maple and Waddle this month. This one is the pumpkin cheesecake. Does not want to focus. Yeah, whatever. It focused for literally a split second. Doesn't really matter. It just says pumpkin cheesecake. Oh my goodness. So, so spicy. And this one was actually used in my red wax melt week. Oh, so good. I love spicy scents. Honestly, just oh, chef's kiss. I should probably clarify, I'm trying to go through the companies that I have only one empty of first, and then I'll go through the ones that I have multiples of. So next up we have uh, Moonstruck Glow. So this one is a shot pot of champagne and strawberries. God, my webcam is such a loser. I don't want to focus. Regardless, this one was another one that I used for the Yellow Wax Melt Week. And Champagne and Strawberries is one of my favorite scents, so I definitely enjoyed this one. It was like a yellow wax with little pink... I was going to say sprinkles. Oh my gosh. Little pink glitter specklings on the top. It was really nice, actually. I quite enjoyed it. Next single empty from a company is the Bohemian sample from Sweet Cherry Soda. There we go. Okay, so that kind of was in focus. Now, Bohemian is kind of like Nag Champa scent. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but basically it smells like an incense burning and... I've never liked the smell of incense. It just, ever since, as long as I can remember ago, it's always just like gotten straight, it's just gone straight through my head and given me a really bad migraine. So unfortunately, this one didn't last long. It was probably maybe less than 10 minutes and I had to actually tip it out because I just honestly, unfortunately could not handle the scent of this particular sample. It's just not the fragrance for me. <laughs> okay, next up, I'll show the empties from A Lil Luxury. So first up, we have Frost and Snowdrops. And oh my gosh, this one has got to be my favorite for this literal entire month. Wait, no, no, it had to be my second favorite. No, no, my first favorite. Yep, definitely my first favorite. I have a second favorite in here too, but definitely Frost and Snowdrops. Oh, so good. So this one is, I mean, you kind of saw it there for a little quick second. It is described as an enticing blend of musk and sandalwood with delicate winter flowers. And you'd think that given my history with scents giving me headaches and migraines and etc., that I wouldn't have liked a scent like this. But oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas, but like in a sweet kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just obsessed. I'm absolutely completely obsessed. Actually, I wonder if I kept the wax like plug of this or not. 
I'm not entirely sure if I did. If I didn't, then that's sad, but this is also one that I actually continued burning for a couple of extra days in my bedroom, so it didn't kind of conflict with the scents that we normally have upstairs in the office and downstairs, uh, just in the downstairs. But yeah, absolutely favorite of the month. And then also from A Little Luxury, we had Nectarine and Mint. Oh, this one is so good, so fruity. I absolutely adore fruity scents. Hang on. If I like kind of hide it for a second and then pull it up really quickly, it'll go in focus. So one, two, three. Oh, I wasn't holding it correctly. Hang on. Let me try that again. One, two, three. I mean, you get the idea. It's nectarine and mint. Such a good scent. And then last from A Little Luxury was cola bottles. Now, oh my goodness, if you've never tried the cola bottles candy, you're missing out. I can't eat them now because they've, uh, they're, they're made with gelatin and I'm vegetarian. I don't eat gelatin. It's made from cows, hooves and etc. So ain't gonna go there. But oh my gosh, it's like spicy Coke. Oh, like if they're, oh my gosh, Coca-Cola need to bring out like, like a spiced Coke, like a spiced ginger beer Coke or something like that. I'm just editing and I realize that uh, there, there, there was a such thing as, there was a such thing great English. There was such a thing as a spicy Coke. There was actually ginger Coke that came out a couple of years ago and I really loved it, but I want it. I want Coca-Cola to bring it back. So please Coca-Cola, bring it back. I'm absolutely obsessed with all things spicy. Also super sweet as well. And this is one of one of my, one of my sister's favorite scents. Okay, next we're going to do Scentsy. So I actually got through three of my shop pots this month or sample pots, whatever you want to call them. But first up, we have the Cashmere and Corduroy sample. This one I use for my Red Wax Melt Week. Doesn't really want to focus, but this one is actually my second favorite scent of the month. I should clarify, scent of the month meaning scents that I have personally used this month, not necessarily scentsy scent of the months. Absolutely just, oh my goodness, just absolutely impeccable. And I definitely saved the wax from that one. Oh, it's just so elegant. I don't know what it is with cashmere type scents recently, but I'm just absolutely obsessed. It smells so, so good. Next up from Scentsy is Oh Snap Dragon. So another one from my Red Wax Melt Week. And there is like liquid in there that's just kind of like moving around, which kind of worries me. And obviously, as you can see, it kind of leaked through the lid here as well. But this is the Oh Snap Dragon sample pot. Oh, wow, it actually kind of focused a little bit cool beans but yeah this one was an interesting one i didn't think that i liked it the first time i sniffed it but the more i kind of continued sniffing it and then also when it was burning or melting whatever you want to call it however you want to call it it was just it was very fresh and actually quite fruity it was really quite nice to be completely honest with you yum yum in my tum except don't eat wax that's that's not advice. And then last but not least from Scentsy, we have Bloomin' Beach. Now this one I used in my green wax melt week. And you know, it's surprising that I actually did enjoy the scent. I'm not typically a fan of beachy type scents. And this one is definitely a little bit floral as well, but it also had like this fruitiness to it. It just, I don't know. I can't even explain it to you guys, but it just smelled good. Like it actually smelled good. I was really, really shocked and surprised with myself that I'm actually beginning to like some slightly floral scents. And that's like the beauty of wax melts is that I personally feel like they're just broadening my nose horizons. <laughs> Moving on to the next company, I have Olive and Peach. So first and foremost, we have Watermelon Mojito, another one that I used in my red wax melt week. This webcam is just terrible, let me tell you. But yeah, this one had a kind of weird scent at first, but while it was actually burning, you could definitely smell the sort of mintiness and definitely the kind of watermelon sort of hint that the scent obviously implies but yeah it was all right i didn't mind it and then next up from olive and peach as well is juicy fruit gum used as part of our yellow wax melt week and as you can imagine this one just smells like the juicy fruit gum there's still a little bit of wax left in there and it just smells absolutely freaking incredible and then as well for the yellow wax melt week we had lemon vanilla this one was a good one. Mm, kind of smells like lemon meringue pie. And then last one from Olive and Peach was Sangria Punch, which I believe was part of our blue wax melt week, maybe. Oh my gosh, so fruity. Definitely one to try out if you see this one on Olive and Peach's website. Great, 
Great scent. Love it. Chef's kiss. All right, I'm going to move the box down onto the floor now because we're on to the last company, which is Baby Got Wax. So I'm going to start off with Unicorn because I have two empties of the exact same wax melts. Now, this is a house blend that Baby Got Wax, or rather the owner of Baby Got Wax, blended up herself. It's just so sweet and just, I, I can't even explain it. It's just so sweet and candy-like. And the reason why there's two empties is because I decided to have one going in the bedroom, one going in the office. So the entire upstairs smelt like unicorn for the entire day. Really good scent. Highly recommend trying out their house blends. They're actually really, really good. Next up, we have Emotional Gangster, which is Minty Marshmallow. This one was part of our Pink Wax Melt Week. Oh, as, along with uh, Unicorn, that was also a pink one. Minty Marshmallow is one of my favorite scents from Baby Got Wax. Oh, it's so minty, but so sweet. Anywho, next up is another one from our Pink Wax Melt Week, and this one is Love on Top Vanilla and Pink Apples. The, the logo is really mostly gone, so, I mean, there's that, but it is the Love on Top scent, which, as I just literally said, is Vanilla and Pink Apples. It's a really, really good scent. It smells like fresh apples and basically nothing else. It just, it just, oh, it's an apple scent that's actually really, really good. Sometimes with apple scents, they kind of smell a little bit chemically, but this one, nah, -uh, just all sweet. I, I love it. Oh, just, I don't even have words anymore. <laughs> Okay, and then the last one, the very last one that I have to show you guys today is, of course, from Baby Got Wax, and it's another one of their house blends. So this one's called Maui Dreaming. I don't remember what color this one was. Maybe pink as well, or maybe yellow. Maybe it was part of our Yellow Wax Melt Week, but it had like a little dollop of pink in it, and then the wax kind of went orange, but I still used it for the Yellow Wax Melt Week regardless. Had some really cool glitter on top. You can probably see some in the lid there. Lovely colorful glitter. Oh, and it just smells like cocktails on the beach. Like it just smells, oh, as I said before, definitely go ahead and try the Baby Got Wax house blends because they're all really good. And here's everything in the box. Now guys, if you enjoyed today's Wax Melt Empty haul, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be not- Oh my goodness, wow, sorry about that. To be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And you guys, if you enjoyed today's video in particular, I do encourage you to go ahead and click the like button as that really does help me out. And let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, bye bye